Good morning uh, from here in Australia. It's Australia Day. My name's Cricket Fox. This is Fox Den Sports. Brand new show. It's going to be a little rough as we're getting started, but we'll get working on it better. Um, I'm a couple weeks away from my birthday and a webcam. It's what I want for birthday. So we'll be able to go live a little bit more often. Um, I'm working on a show with Jeff Bates, Don't Whip Dad. So we'll get together and chat about sports and things as we get those similarities going. Um, I cover uh, the White Sox on the year with the Chicago White Sox on my blog. And it's Sox Fest at the moment. So check out their Instagram, their Twitter, anything to do. You've got highlights all weekend from panels. Um, introductions for uh, the team. Some of the new guys are there, which is great to see. So uh, it's going to be an exciting year for them. Speaking of the Hall of Fame, let's talk about Hawk Harrelson going in. Wow, that was just amazing to get to see when he got that call and everything. I love Hawk. Love his stories. He always knew when to grab some bench or strap it, you know, strap in White Sox baseballs coming or the ever popular, you can put it on the board, yes, call when there was a homer hit. And to hear him get, you know, you got to be bleeping me when mistakes were made. So congratulations to Hawk. Derek Jeter's going in. I was surprised, but I wasn't. Um, he... Yeah, he, he's a great guy to watch. Loved watching him play. He was one vote shy of perfect going in. And I'm glad he didn't get it. I think those those special guys, like Mariano Rivera, who went in with a complete 100% first time, it's guys like that who deserve to be voted in complete 100%. Larry Walker's also going in. I don't know much about Larry. I must admit, I'm going to have to go look up the whole class. Barry Bonds. Um, I've heard talk. Yes? No? What do you think? Let me know in the, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. What you think about Barry Bonds going in. He said 59%. He's got two years left, and then it's up to the Veterans Committee to... Buddy Man or not. Paul Konerko's another one for Chicago White Sox. He got, I think, like 10 votes. So, I don't know how long Paulie's still got on there. So, hoping that he makes it on, too. He was uh, uh, one of my favorite players. Still is, actually. Um, I also cover NFL. Um, I have an NFL Yards of Dreams is the blog. I will, I'll get you the links eventually. We'll, I'll drop all the links in to the blog so you can um, catch up there if you miss things here. So Eli Manning's retirement, uh, he's 39. Uh, it, it was time to go. Um, time to give, you know, it's time for those young kids to step up and have their time their time. He played his entire career with the Giants. Would he retire for a year and then come back with another team? Is he too old? Jeff Bates, the whip dad, I'm going to ask you that. Is Eli Manning too old to come back in a year and play for another struggling team? That's a question I'm going to pose to you. I'm going to post a whip dad, Jeff. Another question. Let's, we're talking about baseball there. We're going to hop back to baseball. Talk about guys calling games. Let's talk about Mr. Scully, Ben Scully, who I loved to listen to. He was amazing to call a game. He's by himself. It was like talking to somebody over a coffee. You could just put the game on and just listen for the stories he told and the stats he knew and and everything. So I know Jeff, you're a you're a Dodgers fan. So tell me about tell me what you remember about Ben Scully and what it was like to grow up listening to him call the game. So that was another sad day when he retired. And if you haven't heard him give the If You Build It speech from Field of Dreams. 
you have to go. You've got to go listen to it. I just cried. It just, it was amazing. Just amazing. Um, I also have a blog called The 19th Floor. And that is for covering our favorite team here in Adelaide, the Adelaide Crows. It's Australian rules football. Our boys don't wear padding. Okay, you guys are probably thinking, you know, I'm nuts to say that, right? The guys don't wear padding. It's like rugby, but play it on an oval. Um, you kick it, you handball it. You have to, sorry about that, guys. I forgot to turn my sound down. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll stick a video. I'll stick a link to a video down below. You can go have a look at Australian rules football. I'll talk about more about the Crows uh, as the season starts. Our Lady Crows are defending um, champions. So it will see if they can defend their title this year and make it to the grand final. So we'll talk about that more as things progress. And Jeff, I want to get your thoughts about that. And see what you think about venturing into my part of the world with Australian rules football. I also cover NXT and WWE uh, today at 11.30 my time in just over an hour. NXT has a pay-per-view and it's NXT versus NXT UK. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I know the other night, Roderick Strong lost his North American belt to Keith Lee, which I was actually glad. Uh, the In the Dusty Rhodes Classic, and for you WWE fans, you know I'm talking about. We'll talk about Dusty Rhodes. Um, Pete Dunne and Matt, I think it's Matt Riddle. They're amazing together. I can see, I hope they win it. I hope they win the, win the championship. Um... I'm kind of tired of the Undisputed Era. It's time to give them some issues to deal with. I realize it's all storyline. I know that. Okay. But you get bored after a bit. So it's time to kind of turn all of that on its head. Um, Rhea with the women's bout. You guys realize she's from Adelaide. So, Rhea Ripley from Adelaide is holding the women's NXT belt, which I'm a huge fan of hers. Was glad to see. I realize Shayna Baszler's still around, but yeah, it was getting old. So, I'm glad she's moved on. Now, tomorrow for me, Sunday for you is the Royal Rumble. Um, men, women's both. Um, there's some title matches there. I'm going to cover it uh, in the in the blog. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Royal Rumble is always the setup to get to WrestleMania. So, I've heard some rumors. One of them I heard is that Shayna Baszler will win the Women's Royal Rumble. That's going to be a setup to get with Becky to do a, develop a storyline there that will culminate at, at WrestleMania. Um, I like Lacey Evans. I didn't at first, but they've turned her into a baby face, and so I'm liking her. So check her out. She's a top cookie. If I'm walking into a fight, take her anytime. So anyway, I know it's a short show tonight, guys. It's just a trial and error. We're getting started here. I'll have more things to talk about as the week goes on. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to fit in yet. Um... I've got to look at times to see where people come in. And I'm going to challenge the Whip Dad. Um, he's working on some sports stuff too. Check him out at, at the Whip Dad. All one word. And we're going to leave it at that. So guys, have a great Australia Day here. Holiday here. Have a great day. Strap your Nikes on and let's go for it.